Hey guys, Moonblast here, and for today's video, I'll be doing a complete breakdown of Kino Der Toten. To start, I'll show how to turn on the power and pack a punch, and after that, I'll show all the interactable Easter eggs on the map, followed by all the other Easter eggs and hidden secrets on the map. I'll also have a timestamp for every Easter egg in the description and the pinned comment. To get to the power, we can go left or right in the starting room, but I recommend going right because if you go left, you will open up the door on the stage, which will make it harder to train on the stage. To get to the power, we'll need to open four doors, which costs 4,250 points. Once we're on the stage, we can now turn on the power switch, which is over here. Now that the power is on, we can link the teleporter to the teleporter pad by clicking X in the teleporter, and then clicking X on the teleporter pad, which is in the starting room. When we want to pack a punch, we can now head back to the teleporter, where we'll be teleported to the pack a punch room. After being in the Pack-a-Punch room for 30 seconds, you'll either be teleported back to the teleporter pad in spawn, or you'll be teleported to one of four rooms before being teleported back to the teleporter pad in spawn. You can also tell how much time you have left in the Pack-a-Punch room by looking at the clock. The four rooms you can be teleported to are Samantha's room, Samantha's room but zombified, a dentist's office which looks like it's from the map Verrucht, and a room from the Pentagon which is from the map 5. In these rooms, there's a chance for there to be a film reel, with there being a total of three different film reels with three different spawn locations in each room. In Samantha's room, a film reel can spawn on the table, on the bed, or next to this rocking chair. In the zombified version of Samantha's room, a film reel can spawn next to this broken furniture, on the bed, and next to the window. In the pentagon room, a film reel can spawn on the table in front of you, underneath the projector to your right, and on top of the TV to your right. And in the dentist room, a film reel can spawn next to the dentist chair, on this counter to your right, and on the other counter to your left as well. For each subsequent time you want to pack a punch, you'll need to relink the teleporter to the teleporter pad. After each use, the teleporter goes on cooldown, and it will become available to use again after 90 seconds of being teleported back to the teleporter pad in spawn. The next time you teleport to the Pack-a-Punch room, you can place a film reel in the projector if you picked one up, and you'll see it playing on the stage, and you'll hear its audio in the Pack-a-Punch room. Subjects have been undergoing treatment for five days with little progress. I have been assured that given time, the programming will take hold. In the past weeks, we have made great strides in breaking through to their subconscious. I have had the projectionist make edits to the film. These changes have been very effective. Subject 26 has had a breakthrough. He's responding to the treatment and following basic instructions. The violent outbursts have been greatly reduced. And given time, we feel this method of treatment will be 100% effective in most cases. For this part of the video, I'll show what the three reels project onto the screen. Another thing to note is that the five recordings of Max's talking will play in the same order every game, no matter which order you activate the film reels or radios in. Another easter egg you can do is to launch the ascension rocket in the pentagon room. For this easter egg I will describe what is apparently the 100% effective way to launch the rocket. To launch the rocket you will need to first turn on the power and then go to the dressing room and jump in front of this mannequin 5 times. Once you've done this you'll now be able to launch the ascension rocket in the pentagon room by clicking X on it when you get teleported there. 
So the jumping step sounds fake, but the reason that this trigger for this Easter egg was discovered was due to it being data mined from Kina Dirt Tote and Remastered in Black Ops 3. While looking for reels, I would try to see if I could launch the Ascension Rocket without doing the jumping step, and in most games I wasn't able to. However, I was able to launch the Ascension Rocket in four separate games without doing the jumping step, and in one of those games I was able to launch the Ascension Rocket six times without doing the jumping step. With this in mind, I'd say that there is another trigger that can be used to launch the Ascension Rocket in addition to the jumping step, or that there is another part of this easter egg that isn't known. Or perhaps the jumping step is the intended trigger, but that it's bug which allows for you to sometimes launch the Ascension Rocket without doing the jumping step. Next up, there are two radios to find, and you can find one of them on the chandelier in the theater, and you can activate it by shooting it. A timeline for deployment can be accelerated. Given the progress we have made in the past two weeks, if patient 26 can retain the impressions longer than 26 hours, we will have the process perfect. You can find the other radio in the alley over here, and you can also activate it by shooting it. Another setback. Patient 26 was killed this morning in the field test. He lost control and attacked one of our handlers. His injuries were minor, but patient 26 was destroyed. The break in programming coincided with the flashing lights and loud noises of the fire alarm in the test facility. One moment. What is it? Next, the Easter egg song for Kenya D'Artone is 115 by Elena Siegman, and you can activate it by clicking X on three different meteorites located throughout the map. You can click the meteorites in any order, and you'll find one of them in the spawn room right over here. The second meteorite is in the dressing room, and you'll find it over here by these mannequins. I found another rock. Maybe they stole this from Japan. The third meteorite is in the storage room, and you'll find it on this shelf. Once the third meteorite is activated, you'll now be listening to 115 by Elena Siegman. For the next easter egg, you can head to the meal kick room where you can click X on the five pictures on the wall and your character will have a dialogue line for each picture. Four of the pictures are of our crew, which are Dempsey, Nikolai, Takio, and Richtofen, and one of the pictures is just a blank black portrait. Brilliant weapon! Hey, someone stole the image from this picture! Hey Dempsey, I think they got your bad side! Well, they do say the screen puts on 10 pounds. I hate you, Takeo. Richtofen looks a little younger in this painting. With all the interactable Easter eggs on the map covered, we'll now look at all the other Easter eggs hidden throughout the map. To start, you can hear someone or something knocking inside of the box in the window in the dressing room. Another thing that is interesting is that the mannequin that we jumped in front of earlier will have blood come out of it if you shoot it. Next, in the storage room, you can see a bunch of spill letters on the ground that spell Manhattan down. In the alley, you can also see the Berlin Television Tower being constructed by East Germany. Kino der Toten takes place in 1963, but construction for the Berlin Television Tower began in 1965 and it was completed in 1969. So it technically shouldn't be there, but it's still a cool landmark for them to put in to show that the map takes place in the 1960s. All around the map, you can see three different posters, which include Faust, which is a reference to the movie Faust from 1926, and the Pygmalion, which is a reference to the movie Metropolis, which came out in 1927. 
The D. Bismarck movie is a reference to the battleship Bismarck, which was built by Germany in 1936 and sunk in 1941. I don't think the D. Bismarck poster references any movie, but the poster does look similar to the Sink the Bismarck movie poster from 1960. In Samantha's room, you can also see a layout of Darius on the ground with the Ultimus characters on it. You can also find a lot of books written by Richthofen in the shelves around the map. On the stage, we can also find that one of the pods has been opened and that its occupant has escaped. Another easter egg is that the zombies in the pods in Kino D'Artoan look just like the zombies in the pods in the Return of the Living Dead movie from 1985. I'll link a YouTube video from Movie Clips in the pinned comment, and you can see them at 45 seconds into the video. Behind a window on the stage, there's also a piece of paper on a book that says Ignomo Jubilus in Latin, which roughly translates to Laughable Mistake. You can also find the same piece of paper on 5 on a podium in the starting room. I however made a theory video on the Ignomo Jubilus easter egg where I think it's a scientific name for Nova 6 crawlers so if you want to check it out I'll link it in the description and the pinned comment. Also on the stage is a ripped piece of paper that says, Side effects of using 115, the power is undeniable but who can use such weapons without turning. This scrap piece of paper is also on a bulletin board in the pentagon room that you can be teleported to and it's also under a brick in their Reese. Next, we can find the Illuminati letter in three locations on the map. One location for the piece of paper is in between the steps of the stairs that lead from the storage room to the stage. We can also find this piece of paper on Maxis's desk in the Pack-a-Punch room. And the third location of it is on the bulletin board in the Pentagon room you can teleport to. The piece of paper says, We have listed both Tabin and Saren. Be wary of the doctor. His involvement should be minimized if you want to make it out alive. We are not sure on how he achieved this time and place. Do what you must. The letter is dated January 23rd, 1975, and it's from I-H-C-O-M-F-S-O-G to F-S-E-R. So it's a letter from the Illuminati to their faithful servant, Edward Richthofen. The letter also shows the structural formulas of sarin and tabin, which are nerve agents used as chemical weapons. In 5, we can also see this note next to the Ignomo Jubilus note on a podium in the starting room. In Classified, we also see a note similar to this in the pig room. The letter is the same except for one line which was changed from we are not sure on how he achieved this time and place in Kino to we are aware on how he arrived in this time and place in Classified. This is interesting because it shows how the Illuminati has been keeping track of Richthofen's whereabouts. Next up in the Packet Punch room, we can see Dr. Maxis's desk, and we can tell because his name is on it. There is also some writing on the chalkboard, which includes Experiment 935 was successful, Everything can be based off this model, Schwartz Sona, which is German for Black Sun, 114 UUQ, 115 UUP, Tomorrow the project will move into full production, Why is up, Why won't it work, I know it was you Rick Toffin, Help, and Energy Momentum. Also in the Pack-a-Punch room on the bulletin board is writing in German that says hold on men, we'll finish them, and below that it says yes, yes, sure. While teleporting there's also some stuff that can pop up on screen. Here I'll list everything that can pop up when teleporting and I'll show them all in the order that I list them in. You can set your playback speed to 0.25 or 0.5 if you want to be able to view them easier. Another thing to note is that a lot of the stuff that shows up on screen while teleporting in Kino came from stuff that you can see on screen while teleporting in Darius. While teleporting, you can see the letters PV and BI on screen at the same time along with the numbers 116 and 118. PV is lead and BI is bismuth. 
In addition to this, element 116 is Livermorium, and element 118 is Oganesson, and both of these elements can only be created in a lab. Next up, you can see a pack of punch on screen, you can see Richtofen's face on screen, you can see the word help on screen, and you can see a crossed out teddy bear. The word help is also written on the door and knocked there on Toten. You can also see you must ascend from darkness on screen, and we first see you must ascend from darkness written on the wall and knocked there on Toten. Other things you can see is the Eye of Providence, a Nova 6 crawler, and a zombie. There might also be some other stuff that can pop up on screen that I wasn't able to find. Next up, I'll cover all the writing on the walls. In the starter room, it says Beware of the Six, which refers to the Nova Six Crawlers. Next up, in the Fire Trap room, it says Brimstone to Damnation, which is interesting. Brimstone is another word for sulfur, and sulfur is one of the components of Nova Six gas alongside neodymium and rhenium, so it could be referencing this. We can also find more writing on the wall next to the power switch. The writing originally said knowledge itself is power, but someone crossed out power and now it says knowledge itself is for the taking. Next up in the dressing room we can see the names Samantha, Amelia, and Abigail written on the wall and it's tagged by JD. This writing is interesting since Samantha was never at Kino der Toten. You can also see this JD tag on the eyeball on the projector we looked at earlier, and the JD tag also appears on Der Reese next to the M1 carbine and on Ted the bus driver on transit. So who is JD? Make sure to comment down below who you guys think JD is. There's also some drawing on the wall over here by the stakeout wall by in the speed cola room. There are also two writings on the walls that are in unreachable areas. The first one says the element is here and this refers to element 115. The other writing on the wall in an unreachable area has Illuminati letters and underneath it it says projectionist. The Illuminati letters spell out ether so it says ether projectionist. This is referencing how the goal of Maxis and Group 935 at Kino der Toten was using the projector to implant the minds of the zombies of instructions so that they could be mind controlled and used as an undead army. Germany had wanted an undead army to win World War II and in return Group 935 was getting funding for their research. We can also see the Eye of Providence two times on the map. One is located on the side of a crate that is holding a pod next to the stairs that lead from the storage room to the stage. The other Eye of Providence is on a piece of paper on a book behind a barrier in the storage room. In the Black Ops 3 version of Kingdom Der Toten, even more Easter eggs are added including a new radio from Dr. Monty and the Samantha Hide and Seek Easter Egg which plays the song Samantha Sorrow. If you guys found this video interesting, make sure to subscribe, comment down below if you'd like to see a map breakdown like this done for other maps such as 5, and I'll see you guys in the next video.